Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover how to subtract two-digit numbers using expanded form. These problems will be without regrouping or borrowing. Now, using expanded form for these subtraction problems helps give us a better understanding of subtraction and what's going on within these problems. It helps our overall understanding of numbers and place value as well. So let's jump into number one, where we have 38 minus 14. The first thing that we want to do, put these numbers in expanded form. Remember, expanded form, we show the value of each digit. For number one, I already put these numbers into expanded form. Let's start with 38 and go through what we have here. So 38 equals 30 plus 8. Because we have a 3 in the tens place, that represents 3 tens and has a value of 30. As far as the ones, we have 8 ones. 8 ones has a value of 8. As far as the 14, 14 equals 10 plus 4 because the one in the tens place represents 110 and has a value of 10. The four represents four ones and has a value of four. Now we can subtract. So when we subtract whole numbers, we start with the ones. So we have eight ones minus four ones. That's going to give us an answer of four. So we have a four in the ones place in our answer. Now we bring the addition sign straight down. I know this is a subtraction problem, but we want that addition sign brought straight down because it's part of our expanded form. So our answer here is going to be in expanded form at first, and then we'll put it into standard form. So once we bring that addition sign down, we move to the tens. So we have 30 minus 10. That's going to give us 20. So our final answer in expanded form is 20 plus 4. That's going to give us in standard form 24. A 2 in the tens place and a 4 in the ones place. 24. Let's move back over to the left where we have the original problem and solve it over there as well and see if we still get 24. Start with the ones. So we have 8 ones minus 4 ones. That was represented right here in our expanded form. It gives us a four in the ones. Then we move to the tens where we have three tens minus one ten. The value of those digits were represented right there. Three minus one gives us a two in the tens place for a final answer of 24. Let's move on to number two where we have 79 minus 42. The first thing that we want to do, put these in expanded form. We'll start with the 79. So 79 equals, we have a seven in the tens place. So that seven has a value of 70 plus a nine in the ones. That nine has a value of nine. We're going to subtract the expanded form of 42. So the four is in the tens place and has a value of 40 plus a two in the ones place. So that two has a value of two. And now we're ready to subtract. So start with the ones. We have nine minus two. That's going to give us a seven in the ones place for our answer bring the addition sign down for the expanded form, and then we move to the tens. So 70 minus 40 gives us an answer of 30. So our answer in expanded form, 30 plus seven. In standard form, that's going to give us 37. A three in the tens place and a seven in the ones place. Let's go back over to the original problem and subtract the ones. So nine minus two, represented right here in our expanded form. That gives us a seven in the ones place in our answer. 
Then we move to the tens. So we have seven tens minus four tens. That gives us a total of three tens, or a three in the tens place in our answer. That was represented right here by the values of 70 minus 40. Final answer, 37. So there you have it. There's how you subtract two digit numbers using expanded form. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.